Hi, I'm Rick with Baycom. Today I'll be showing you the GPS portion of Turbona Enterprise Dispatch Council. To start, a little about the map. It's a free online open source map. So there's no annual cost to our maps and they update via the internet so you don't have to worry about updating them. But if you do feel like updating the map, I do also have a video called Editing Open Street Maps. So please feel free to watch that if you need to add any roads in your local neighborhood. Alright, let's get started. If you watched my previous video, I talked about the radio interface screen. Well, one of the key features is being able to key up and talk on the talk, on the talk groups. So up here, I have all of my individual talk groups still listed. So if I hover over one of these, I have the ability to still unselect and select channels, tone and PTT, mute all channels except this, or even mute this channel. I also have the ability to go ahead and key up this channel if I need. So that way I don't have to switch between my radio interface screen and my GPS positioning screen. Alright, let's get started. So up top we have our map toolbar. First we have our plus and minus magnifying glasses which allows us to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out. You can also accomplish the same by right clicking and dragging a box in an area or even using your mouse scroll wheel. Next we have bookmarks. This allows us to go ahead and save pan and zooms as a bookmark. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and zoom in on Stevens point here. Once I have my pan and zoom all loaded up here, I can go ahead and click on the star here, hit save as bookmark, label it, and hit OK. Now what that allows me to do is no matter where I am looking on the map, if I go to this bookmark Stevens point here, it'll bring me back to that same pan and zoom. Next is my home button. This allows me to go ahead and set up my home region. So when you first log into the software in the morning and click on your GPS screen, this will be where or um, this will be the area you're looking at. So if I go ahead and hit my home, I don't have a save region so I'll have to go over here and generally you'll may want to make this your your entire coverage area so that way you can look at where all of your your radios are right now so that's about uh, close so we'll go ahead and hit the drop down and then save as default region alright so if I go ahead and zoom in on Stevens point there and I want to get back to my home area I can just hit the home and it'll bring me back to that pan and zoom Next is Google Earth. We also have the ability to export all of our data onto a Google Earth map. Keep in mind, Google Earth does require a license for using in a corporate environment. Next is Show Route. So if I go ahead and click Show Route, this will bring up all of my radio list here. So I'll go ahead and scroll down until I find the radio I want, select the color of the route I would like to display on the map, red's a good color and then I'll go ahead and select my date range and then hit OK now as you can see it went ahead and plotted out his route on my map for me so if I zoom in I have two different color dots here one of them's got a large white circle with a small red circle and the other one's a small white circle with a large red circle the one with the smaller red circle is a normal polling interval without any idle time in it. So if I hover over it, I'll get a date time stamp, a Latin longitude, as well as a speed. If I hover over the large red circle, it'll give me a date time stamp, as well as a stop time, so that lets me know that that vehicle was stopped there for a period of time, as well as a Latin longitude. Alright, so I'll go back to my home area. And then to clear that route, you'll go ahead and just hit the clear route button. Next, I have my filter button. This will allow me to filter out the radios that I see on my map. So I can filter it by online radios with a GPS lock, online radios with a, without a GPS lock, but their last known location, 
and also offline radios and their last known location. So similar to the show route I have a history button. So if I go ahead and bring this up I can select my radio like I did before select the color, my date range, and then go ahead and hit load. Now it's going to give me each individual point interval um, by date time. So if I go ahead and play this, it'll go ahead and show me each of his point intervals as I go. Go ahead and stop. Next is the ruler. This you can, since we draw points on the map, to find out the distance between the start point and the end point. And lastly is my map drawing tool. By selecting that, it will go ahead and bring up my map drawing toolbar. First, I have draw polygon, which allows me to go ahead and draw a box on the map to configure geofencing. And then I also have points on the map that I can add. So I can add just a waypoint, I can add a warning sign, police station, hospital or emergency department, fire department, or a house. Below, I also have my recent calls and events. So like in the previous video on radio interface, you can also go ahead and play back these messages as well as save them. This concludes the, portion, the GPS portion of the Turbonet Enterprise Dispatch Council. For any questions, please see the website below. Thanks. Have a great day.